So a YouTube question just came up on how to get your primitives out, um, and the example was actually using splines um, and get them turned into actual geometry or curves. And this is actually really easy to do with XGen. So you can see here I have some guides, and if we generate some spline primitives from those guides, you know, we have a pretty, pretty high density. We'll drop this down just to make it go a little faster on the X part. So all you have to do is just go to your output and you can always switch your output operation to, to output a variety of different types of things. Instead of launching a render, if we just switch this over to create a MEL file, I'll shove it to my iDrive, we'll just create that MEL file. It takes just a second to go through and do that. So now if we bring up another cut of Maya here and just do a file open, on that iDrive, um, just say show all files and grab the description one, which is the one that we just output. Open that guy up. You'll see that what we're going to end up with is um, just curves based on those those primitive those primitives that were instanced. So it's a really um, it's a pretty straightforward workflow and um, very very flexible. So if you ever want to get real geometry for your instance geometry, you just change your output operator that is. Um, basically under the preview output tab, output settings, um, and like I said, there's a variety of different things that you can do with it. But take a look at that, and I think it'll probably get you what, you're, what you were looking for. Um, thanks again for, for taking a look at everything. Cheers.